Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem Shai by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that do this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. Uh, among the heathen that look like the heathen, and to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. And this is going to be a, a lesson uh, reflecting on the conversation that I had with a beautiful brother, in this, um, the brother uh, Yahweh the Maccabees, a very diligent brother who uh, puts up very uh, informative and edifying videos all the time. And, you know, just like with many brothers that I've met, you know, through in the Great Millstone. And even though that brother isn't particularly great millstone, he is great millstone. <laughs> you know, I told him that um, because he, he informed me how I was a big influence on him, you know, doing this work. And I was very humbled by that, you know, um, and. Um, and that I told him that, well, you know, I entered into the, the labor of the, the apostles and the elders, you know, and uh, and what it's really about was the, the house of David. And the Lord is bringing back the house of David. And, and the Lord is still strategic, man. He he just opened up my mind, you know. I, I had a beautiful conversation with the brother. We spoke for about, maybe about 12 or 15 minutes. And, um, I, you know, and I just felt my spirit was so at ease talking to the brother. It was like we've known each other all along. And then, it, you know, then it hit me. I was like, wait, hold on, brother. We, we have known each other all along. And then, you know, and, and during the conversation, he, he mentioned that, uh, that, Brother, I, I in the spirit, I feel like I, I fought side by side with you before. And I said, more than likely, we have, <laughs> you know, because what, you know, what, what do you think happens when GMS Maccabean spirit links up with, you, with your Howard the Maccabees? We go on a war for the Lord, man. But this is uh, Matthew 19 and 28. And it reads, and Yahweh said unto them, verily, I say unto you. That ye which have followed me in the regeneration. When the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. So, and and who's gonna who's gonna sit and, and rule with those men under those men? The rest of the elect, the rest of the hundred and forty four thousand. All right. Which I believe that the men that are doing this work are a part of. You know, hopefully, I am worthy to be one of them. All right. So what this this very powerful scripture, what this proves, you know, is that you regenerate. And you're going to fall back into your lot. You know, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to be, you know, against the Lord in one life and then and then be formed in the next. That's not how it works. All right. And we are our chosen people, chosen vessels. You know, the Lord played chess by by scattering us. By sprinkling his elect among among the nation, even among the heathen, meant letting us look like the heathen. So key people were spared and saved that they may grow and mature, you know, in the future in this word, that they may do the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. And this is speaking about the whole nation right here. But remember, among the nation, there is an elect. All right. That's set apart even among, they're the Israel of Israel. All right. But this is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. And it reads, for thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power. Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. We're above them all. All right. The, the, the men of the Lord, the people of the Lord are above all other people, point blank, period, man. Okay, let's grab uh, Psalm 78 and uh, is it 31. Let me see. Yes, it says the wrath of God came upon them and slew the fattest of them and smote down the chosen men of Israel. So like the brother mentioned, I said, I said, look, man, we we fought and died. We've won and we've lost. We've done all that before. 
All right. I, I, look, I, I've been around, you know, uh, uh, so many different brothers in the Great Millstone, man. And, and the brothers that are sincere, it's it's like you, you literally are at peace. You can let your guard down. All right. And I got I got total faith in the spirit. If it's someone amongst us that isn't right, the spirit always roots them out. You know, you know, brothers talk about the agents and all that. Yeah, we know that that's going to happen, but I'm not worrying about that because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has us. All right. As a matter of fact, you might have some agents that come in and get converted. Be like, wait a minute, man. <laughs> you know, th this is this is for real. This, these these brothers are for real. The, the spirit of the Lord really is with these men. You know, because you know, because Esau going to try to use a Judas goat to try to demonize us and that on all that sort of thing. But that's all anything. You can't do anything against this. Matter of fact, that make brings to mind another scripture. Um, Isaiah 54 and 17. All right. One of the few church songs I actually liked, you know, with this one was, uh, you know, that whole no weapon formed against me. But this is uh, Isaiah 54 and 17. And it reads, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt be condemned. So no matter what they do, we've already got the victory. When they bring us before the courts, when they try to round us up, and when they do the, the deep, deep fakes and try to use our faces and our voices and, and all, whatever it is that they do, it's all going to backfire on them. Hell, the world is already looking at them now. They, get, they keep getting caught in more and more scandals. That they're the creators of the problems that they spend billions to fix later. All of it's coming back upon them, man. These people truly are being found out. They're being discovered. And why? Because of, because, because of the, the mouth of the Lord, the mouthpiece of the Lord, the prophets, is breaking them down. Okay? It said, this is the heritage of the service of Yahweh, and their righteousness is of me. See, if Yahweh, and see, and see us waking up to a lot after being scattered and being strategically placed in all the cities and towns and places where we're supposed to be, you know? Um, you know, like uh, you got like, what's the, the other beautiful brother, Amuan Abad, you know? Um, that brother's solo, you know? Yahweh the Mac could be solo, but they're really not. Why? Because they're rolling in the spirit with the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And they're going to fall in line with the rest of the soldiers, as you can see on the screen, man. True warriors of God. All right. But they'll be much greater than what you see. But I just wanted to give you an image to get them to get the mindset. All right. But. Um, how are we breaking them down? This is how we're breaking them down. This is uh Second Thessalonians two and eight. And this scripture it could come out almost every lesson and almost every day. With the, uh, the amount of exposure that's coming, and then a lot of it's coming from, the majority of it's coming from the men of the Lord. Look, the elders went live on the YouTube, started putting up videos, and the whole world changed. The vibration of the whole world changed. Why? Because the song, that new song was being sung. All right? And only we're going to sing it. But this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed... Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right. <laughs> and, you know, I, and there's so many faces that I that I can see powerful speakers and brothers, you know, who have the gift of, uh, uh, you know, of speech and with this and, and with the Holy Spirit entrenched in it you know starting with the apostles and elders but there's so many other brothers i can think of man um the one that pops in my head is the the brother adama out of the boston camp man you know i've all i've always been moved by that brother when he teaches man the uh, the uh uh the brother uh atazawan from uh from from the men of valor the other brother the uh the speckled bird brother you know, I remember when he first started putting up videos, admitting the truth. And I remember putting on a couple of his videos that, bro, you, you, you not no Edomite, man. You a man of the Lord. And it's beyond uh, the brother Shamar, you know. And um, so the Lord strategically placed us in different places. He placed us where he wanted us to be, not where we wanted to be. Hell, when I first woke up, you know, I went looking for the elders. 
That was a point I wanted to move to New York, but <laughs> I wanted to I wanted to be around the elders so bad, man. And then I realized that hey, we have we have posts, and this is this is my post, man. So we can't abandon our posts. We go, you know, we go where the Lord sends us. All right. So he scattered us, but he scattered us, to, you know, as punishment. But it was also a strategic move. Think about how he hid so many of us among Moab. You know, uh, that's Isaiah 16 and 4. So let them be a covert. Let them be a cover. All right. But this is uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 3. And it reads that then Yahweh thy power will turn the captivity and have compassion upon thee. And will return and gather thee from all the nations where the Yahweh thy power have scattered thee. So, you know, we're in that time, man. This is an exciting time to be alive. It really truly is. This is a very exciting time because the prophets, which was really us, <laughs> and the regeneration, are, but, you know, we they long to live to see what we're seeing now. We're literally seeing the downfall of our enemy right before their faces in the face, and there's nothing that they can do about it, man. Not at this time, because the Lord has ordained us. There's no way you could have did the things that, we're, that we've been doing uh, on the highways and byways of America and around the world, you know, if you were doing this 50 or 60 years ago. No way. All right. Hell, it wasn't that long ago when they were hanging and burning us in the streets of America and nobody was getting in trouble. They even posed with our bodies. You know, I always tell them you could use a... Uh, uh, Facial recognition and find these people dead and punish a lot of these people, make their families pay retribution, but they won't use it for that, will they? That's why they so uh, have so much fear and hatred toward what they re what they're calling critical race uh, uh, theory. Well, no, when it's critical uh, race history, all right. You know, because you can <laughs> a lot of those images they see their uncles and their fathers and their you know <laughs> the granddad. In those images posing with with our destroyed bodies but this is a uh, jeremiah uh and they fear the retribution because it's a as the scripture says double so everything you did them horrific crimes is all coming back on you double trust and believe this is jeremiah um 3 and 13 only acknowledge thine iniquity and thou hast transgressed against yahweh thy power and hast and has scattered thy ways to strangers under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh. So because of our own disobedience, you know, we're in this position. But this is the Lord's uh, movie. This is his story. And he knew we were going to go off. And all, all things are being done to, 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 to bring to bringing us back and saving us to show the power that he had. All right, and when he set up our Lord and Savior, the anointed Hamashiach as the the King of Kings, and then and then uh, 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 and then King David, you know. And I was talking with the brother, and he, you know, and he has that uh, uh, you know, he has that affinity for 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 King David, that, you know. And we were sharing, you know, different parts of the parts of the Bible that move us the most, and um, how could you not? be in love with with the whole story of the house of David and then the house of David being restored. The house of David being restored is the kingdom of heaven. And funny that that's the, what this, this movie, this scene is from the movie, the kingdom of heaven, though they got it all wrong. But you get, you get what I'm saying. Let's go to the book of uh, Ezekiel. Sixteen. Yeah, this is um, Ezekiel eleven and sixteen, and it reads: Therefore say, thus saith Yahweh Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, some of us look like the heathen, and out and all, and although I have scattered them among the countries, and see the Lord play chess because you got brothers in these different countries, you know where the Lord now has uh, branches, all right? 
and no one has more branches doing the work of Yahweh Bashem and Abishai than GMS. GMS is truly is global. The Lord did that. He didn't jet set and fly and you know and send you know send people out and missionaries. The Lord did this, man. So the Lord scattered us, but at the same time, the Lord had a plan to raise us up in those places. You see, man, this, hey, man. <laughs> but it says, uh, therefore, this is uh, Ezekiel 11 and 16 again. Therefore, say, thus saith um, the Lord power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet I will be to them a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. And, and how's that sanctuary? We're calling on the name. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. It's 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 our, it's our covering. That's what keeps keeps the uh the wicked from putting their hands on us now. All right, calling on that name. But to to but to the two thirds, the rebellious children, they're gonna have no covering, man. All right, this is uh, Zechariah thirteen. Seven and eight, I'm getting ready to wrap this up shortly, but this is uh seven through uh nine, and it reads Zechariah 13 and and uh and 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 seven, and it reads, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man that is my fellow, say if you how of hosts, smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. So all you all you wicked ones that don't want to they want to follow colonialized uh Plantation Christianity and Buddhism and, 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 and Islam and all these other, you know, things that are not of the Lord or, or just, you know, uh, being into your drugs, your, 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 your disgusting. And I wouldn't even call it hip hop no more. Hip hop was actually OK. But this this drill shit and this adultery ass music, this adult adulterous based, you know, uh, uh, adultery based uh, music and movies and television shows and it's just Jake want to do everything except what's righteous, all right. Keep an abominable diet, uh, you know, not eat right, not not follow the law, that's just the commandments to the best of your ability. That's gonna get you pain by death, man. And, and verse eight, and it's in it shall come to pass that in all the land, say if you how or two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein, all right. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried and they shall call my name and I will hear them. And I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. And that's exactly what's going to happen, man. That is exactly what's going to happen. The, 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 the two thirds is going to die and suffer horrible deaths, just like the heathens. Some of them are going to be reserved for when the fire comes from, from the ICBMs. When everything shall melt with fervent heat, when all the elements, they're going to be a part of that. All right. But this is uh, Titus 3 and 5. We'll wrap it up with this one. And it reads. Not by works or righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost. So the Lord renewed us, regenerated us and brought us back in this lifetime to uh, to do his work, to either live or die. And even if we do die, we die in his work, then we're guaranteed to be the first to be raised up. So this is a win win for us because we ain't living in this place anyway. This ain't living. Call Haloi, Hawabashin, Hawashai, Bashim, Rakar, Kwam, Yashirah, Shalom.